In recent years, the world has watched as new and deadly viruses emerge. From Ebola to Zika and COVID-19, viral outbreaks have caused widespread fear and disruption. These events highlight the importance of understanding viruses and the measures we can take to protect ourselves. In an interconnected world, the threat of viral diseases looms large. The emergence of new viruses poses a constant challenge to global health security. It is crucial that we remain vigilant and informed about these threats. Orapush virus. A member of the Orthobunia virus genus was first isolated in 1955 from a febrile patient in Trinidad. Since then, it has caused several outbreaks, primarily in South America. Orapush virus shares characteristics with other Bunyaviridae, including its segmented RNA genome. Its ability to cause large-scale epidemics makes it a significant public health concern. Ongoing research aims to develop effective diagnostic tools, antiviral therapies, and vaccines. The Orapush virus spreads through the bite of infected midges, tiny insects of the Culicoids genus. These midges thrive in tropical regions with abundant rainfall and standing water. The cycle begins when an infected midge bites a vertebrate host, injecting the virus. The virus replicates within the host, reaching levels to be transmitted to other midges. Humans become infected through the bite of an infected midge. The virus is primarily in Central and South America, with cases in Brazil, Peru, Panama, and Trinidad and Tobago. The Orapush virus typically causes a self-limiting febrile illness, meaning that symptoms resolve on their own without specific treatment. However, the severity of the illness can vary widely, ranging from mild flu-like symptoms to severe neurological complications in rare cases. The incubation period for Orapush virus infection, which is the time between exposure to the virus and the onset of symptoms, typically ranges from three to eight days. After this period, infected individuals may experience a sudden onset of fever, headache, muscle and joint pain, chills, and malaise. Other common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, back pain, and loss of appetite. Some individuals may also develop a rash, conjunctivitis, pink eye, or swollen lymph nodes. In most cases, symptoms resolve within a week without any long-term complications. However, a small percentage of individuals may develop more severe manifestations of the disease, such as meningitis, inflammation of the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord, or encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. These complications can lead to neurological symptoms, including stiff neck confusion, seizures, and paralysis. Section 5. Fighting Back. Treatment and Management. Currently, there is no specific antiviral therapy available for treating Orapush virus infection. Treatment primarily focuses on alleviating symptoms and supporting the body's natural immune response to fight off the virus. Rest, hydration, and over-the-counter pain relievers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help manage fever, headache, and muscle pain. In some cases, healthcare providers may recommend anti-nausea medications to alleviate vomiting and diarrhea. For individuals with severe complications, such as meningitis or encephalitis, hospitalization may be necessary to provide supportive care. This may include intravenous fluids, respiratory support, and medications to reduce brain swelling and prevent seizures. Early diagnosis and prompt initiation of supportive care are crucial for improving outcomes, particularly for individuals who develop severe complications. Healthcare providers should consider Orapush virus infection in their differential diagnosis for patients presenting with compatible symptoms, especially those with a recent travel history to endemic areas. Section 6. Shielding Ourselves. Prevention Strategies. Preventing Orapush virus infection revolves around avoiding mosquito bites. Use personal protective measures and community interventions. Wear long-sleeved clothing, especially during dawn and dusk. Apply insect repellent with DEET or picaridin. Eliminate mosquito breeding sites by removing standing water. Community efforts include spraying insecticides and using larvicides. Section 7. The Human Cost. Orapush's Impact on Communities. Orapush virus outbreaks can have significant social and economic impacts on affected communities. The sudden onset of illness in a large number of people can overwhelm healthcare systems, leading to shortages of beds, medical supplies, and healthcare workers. 
Outbreaks can also disrupt daily life as schools and businesses may be forced to close temporarily to prevent further transmission. This can lead to lost productivity, reduced income, and economic hardship, particularly in low-income communities. Furthermore, the fear and anxiety associated with outbreaks can have lasting psychological effects on individuals and communities. The uncertainty surrounding the virus, its transmission, and its potential long-term consequences can create a climate of fear and mistrust, impacting social cohesion and mental well-being. Addressing the social and economic impacts of Orapush virus outbreaks requires a multi-sectoral approach involving healthcare providers, public health officials, government agencies, and community leaders. By working together, we can mitigate the negative consequences of outbreaks and build more resilient communities. Section 8. A Brazilian Epidemic, a Case Study In 2006, Brazil experienced one of the largest documented outbreaks of Orapush virus infection, with an estimated 400,000 people infected. The outbreak originated in the Amazon region and rapidly spread to neighboring states, overwhelming healthcare systems and causing widespread disruption. The outbreak highlighted the challenges of controlling mosquito-borne diseases in resource-limited settings and the importance of early detection and rapid response to contain outbreaks. It also demonstrated the potential for Orapush virus to cause large-scale epidemics with significant public health consequences. Following the outbreak, Brazilian health authorities implemented a comprehensive control program that included mosquito control measures, surveillance and monitoring of the virus, and public education campaigns. These efforts have been successful in reducing the incidence of Orapush virus infection in Brazil. However, the 2006 outbreak serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present threat of Orapush virus and the need for continued vigilance and preparedness to prevent and manage future outbreaks. Section 9. The Importance of Vigilance, Staying Ahead of the Curve In an era marked by the rise of emerging infectious diseases, vigilance is our greatest ally. The Orapush virus, though primarily confined to specific geographic regions, serves as a reminder that infectious diseases know no boundaries. Early detection of outbreaks is crucial for implementing timely and effective control measures. This requires robust surveillance systems, rapid diagnostic testing, and effective communication channels between healthcare providers, public health agencies, and the public. Public awareness and education are equally important. By understanding the virus, its transmission, and the symptoms it causes, individuals can take proactive steps to protect themselves and their families. Furthermore, international collaboration is essential for sharing information, coordinating research efforts, and developing new tools and strategies to combat the Orapush virus and other emerging infectious threats. Section 10, The Power of Research Unlocking Solutions. Research is the cornerstone of our fight against infectious diseases. By investing in research, we can unlock a deeper understanding of the Orapush virus, its pathogenesis, and its potential long-term consequences. This knowledge is essential for developing effective diagnostic tests, antiviral therapies, and vaccines, which are crucial for preventing and treating Orapush virus infection and reducing its impact on individuals and communities. Research can also shed light on the ecological factors that contribute to the emergence and spread of the virus, such as climate change, deforestation, and human encroachment into wildlife habitats. This knowledge can inform public health interventions aimed at reducing the risk of future outbreaks. Furthermore, research can help us understand the social, economic, and behavioral factors that influence the vulnerability of populations to Orapush virus infection. This information is crucial for developing targeted interventions and public health campaigns to protect those most at risk. Section 11, our shared responsibility, protecting ourselves and each other. The fight against infectious diseases is a collective endeavor. Protecting ourselves and our communities from the Orapush virus and other emerging threats requires a shared sense of responsibility and a commitment to collective action. Individuals can play their part by taking steps to prevent mosquito bites, seeking prompt medical attention if they develop symptoms, and staying informed about the virus and its transmission. Healthcare providers have a crucial role in early diagnosis, prompt treatment, and reporting of cases to public health authorities. They can also educate patients about the virus and preventive measures. Public health agencies are responsible for surveillance, outbreak investigation, 
mosquito control, and public education campaigns. They also play a critical role in coordinating responses to outbreaks and ensuring access to healthcare services for those affected. By working together, we can create a safer and healthier world for ourselves and future generations. The Orapush virus, though a formidable foe, is a challenge we can overcome through knowledge, preparedness, and collective action.